Hey everybody, it's Miss Kate here. Welcome to baby time. And today we're gonna get a little buggy. Our first friend who's gonna help us sing our hello song is a, is a bug that a lot of people don't really care for. They get a little bit nervous when they see this bug, but it's really important because if we didn't have this bug, we wouldn't have honey. Do you know what bug makes honey? Who is it? Bzz, that's right, the bee. Bzz, bzz, so Mr. B is going to help me sing our hello song. Are you ready? Let's get our waving hands. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello again. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Hello, friends. And before I go any further, I just want to let all the grown-ups know we're going to do um, an activity with some shaking eggs at the end. So if you have a shaking egg, see if you can find one. If you don't have a shaking egg, please do not panic. In our show notes, I have directions on how to make a shaking egg, really just with an empty water bottle, and you can put some beads inside or paper clips or beans or anything, really, and make your own shaking egg. But let's look at some other buggy friends this is my favorite bug i think it's a bug that at this time of year you can go outside at night if you stay up very late and you can see them lit up and buzzing around like they're magic it's a firefly and fireflies are so special if you catch a firefly you can keep them in your hand and your hand will light up then you can let it go and you can see it fly off into the night now, the next bug I'd like to introduce you to, people say this bug's lucky. If you spot one of these bugs, it's a very lucky thing. They are the color red, and they have black spots. And some people like to try to count their spots. And here it is. Yeah, it's a ladybug. And let's see how many spots are on my ladybug. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight spots on my ladybug. Yeah. All right. Now, we have kind of sort of my last bug. This is a bug that eats and eats and eats and eats and eats and eats and then makes a chrysalis around itself where it sleeps for a while. Does anyone know what kind of bug makes a chrysalis? Yeah, a caterpillar. And the caterpillar stays inside, for the, chrys inside the chrysalis and then starts to eat its way out. And do you know what, ca what caterpillars turn into? Once they get out of their chrysalis, they turn into really cool and beautiful butterflies. And butterflies are so wonderful. They're like nature's magic, aren't they? Yeah. All right, so now we're going to get even buggier by reading our first story. But first, I think we need to stretch a little bit. What do you say? Now, for this stretch, I'd like everybody to stand up. I'm not going to stand up because I'd go out of frame of the camera, but please try to act out as I'm saying this. Act out the animals. Are you ready? Here we go. Can you wiggle like a worm? Can you squiggle? Can you squirm? Can you flutter? Can you fly gently like a butterfly? Can you crawl around the ground like a beetle that is round? Can you move with me? Can you flip? Can you flop? Can you give a little hop? Can you slither like a snake? Can you give a little shake? Can you dance like a bee? Who is buzzing round a tree? Can you move with me? Excellent. Now I think we're ready for our first story. And it's called Over in the Meadow. Oh, look, there's the meadow. And now that it's summer, we can go out in the meadow. Go out to the park, see if you can find any of these animals out in nature. Oh, there's the bee. And we're going to start with this animal. Do you know what kind of animal this is? Yeah, it's a turtle. You're right. Over in the meadow, in the sand, in the sun, lived an old mother turtle and her little turtle one. 
dig, said the mother. We dig, said the one. So they dug all day in the sand and the sun. Over in the meadow where the stream runs blue lived an old mother fish and her little fishies too. Swim, said the mother. We swim, said the two. So they swam all day where the stream runs blue. Hoo, hoo. Over in the meadow in the wide oak tree lived an old mother owl and her little owls three. Who said the mother, we, who said the three, so they hooed all day in the wide oak tree. Over in the meadow by the old barn door lived an old mother rat and her little ratties four. Gnaw, said the mother, we gnaw, said the four, so they gnawed all day by the old barn door. Over in the meadow in the snug beehive lived an old mother bee and her little bees five. Buzz, said the mother, we buzz, said the five. So they buzzed all day round the snug beehive. Over in the meadow in a nest made of snicks, six lived an old mother crow and her little crow six. Caw, said the mother, we caw, said the six. So they caught all day in the nest made of sticks. Over in the meadow where the grass grows even lived an old mother frog and her little froggy seven. Jump, said the mother. We jump, said the seven. So they jumped all day where the grass grows even. Over in the meadow by an old mossy gate lived an old mother lizard and her little lizards eight. Bask, said the mother. We bask, said the eight. So they basked all day by the old mossy gate. Over in the meadow in a pond by the pond swam an old mother duck and her little ducklings nine. Quack, said the mother. We quack, said the nine. So they quack all day in the pond by the pine. Over in the meadow in a cozy wee den lived an old mother beaver and her little beaver's ten. Build, said the mother. We build, said the ten. So they built all day near the cozy wee den. The end. Ta -da. And now... It's nursery rhyme time. And there's a bug we haven't talked about yet, and that's our old friend, the spider. And for a spider, you can make a spider with your hands. Can you see if you can make a spider with your hands? And grown-ups, if you have a baby that's too small to do this, you can make the spider and have that spider crawl on your baby. Yeah, okay, here we go. And this is called Little Miss Muffet. And this is Little Miss Muffet. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and ah! frightened Miss Muffet away. So at the end, Miss Muffet runs in and she hides. Here we go, let's do it again. Here's Miss Muffet. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and ah! frightened Miss Muffet away. Good job, you did it. And I'm going to read another story. And this is a kind of story that you can stand up and you can jump around for. It's called Hello Baby. And as you can see for the cover, from the cover, it's all about animal babies. So when we talk about an animal, I'm going to invite you to try to act out, pretend to be that animal. All right, let's see. Hello, baby. Hello, baby. Who are you? <gasps> Are you a monkey with clever toes? Oh, 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 oh. Perhaps you're a porcupine twitching its nose. Are you an eagle exploring the skies? Perhaps you're a gecko with rolling eyes. Can you roll those eyes? Are, you're a, are you a lion with dust on its paws? 
Perhaps you're a hippo with yawning jaws. Are you a leopard dozing at dusk? <sniffs> Perhaps you're an elephant wielding a tusk. <sniffs> Are you a warthog, hilarious and hairy? Perhaps you're a crocodile, silent and scary. Snap, snap, snap. Are you a zebra, <laughs> sipping a drink? Perhaps you're an owl with a wicked wink. Wink. No. Then who are you, baby? Wait, let me guess. Are you my treasure? The answer is yes. Yes. And grown-ups, can you get that treasure and give that treasure a big hug? Good job. The end. And now let's do some more rhymes. We're gonna do some counting rhymes. And we're going to start with this one. It's kind of a chant. And it goes like this. Show me a one. One. Show me a two. Two. Show me a three. Three. Show me a four. Four. Show me a five. Five. Now I'm going to get tricky. You ready for the test portion of the day? Here we go. Show me a three. Three. Show me a five. Five. Show me a one. One. Show me a four. Four. Show me a two. Two. Good job. Good job. Learning the numbers, right? Okay, and now I have to get this. You can see what our next rhyme is about. We're going back to our friends, the bees. And let's count these bees. One, two, three, four, five. Now, if you put up your hand and you pretended each finger was a bee, how many bees would you have? One, two, three, four, five. You would have five bees. Bzz. Can you take your five bees and can you hide them? Put them in their hive. Here we go. You ready? This is this rhyme. Here, this is how it goes. Here is a beehive, but where are the bees? They're hidden inside where nobody sees. Count them as they come out of the hive. One, two, three, four, five. They're alive! Ah! All right, let's do it again. Hide your bees. Here is the beehive, but where are the bees? They're hidden inside where nobody sees. Watch them as they come out of the hive. One, two, three, four, five. They're alive! Ah! Bzzz. Good job. Okay, put those away. And now we're going to sing a song. I'm going to bring my big bee out. It's called... I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. So you can pretend you have a little bumblebee in your hand. You ready? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm bringing home my baby bumblebee. Ouch! It stung me! Better get a different guy. How about this? I'm bringing home my baby turtle. Won't my mommy really pop her girdle? I'm bringing home my baby turtle. Hey, he won't come out of his shell. I think we need a different guy. Oh boy, you ready for this one? I'm bringing home my baby rattlesnake. Won't my mommy shiver and shake? I'm bringing home my baby rattlesnake. Slither, slither, slither. I don't think the snake's going to work. I think we need one more try. How about this guy? How about 
Oh, my baby dinosaur. Are you ready? I'm bringing home my baby dinosaur. Won't my mommy fall right through the floor? I'm bringing home my baby dinosaur. Roar! 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 Yeah, can you all let out your biggest dinosaur roar? Are you ready? Roar! Good job, guys. Awesome. Okay, and now we're going to go back to our friend, the spider. All right, and now it's time for another book, and we're going to revisit our friend from Little Miss Muffet, the spider. And this is a singing book, and it's called The Itsy Bitsy Spider. Feel free to do the motions and sing along with me. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. The end. Yay. Okay, and now it's time for some lapsit rhymes. So grown-ups, get those babies. If you have a baby that will sit on your lap, perfect. If you're a toddler and you want to kind of hop around while we do this, that's okay too. But I'm going to use my friend Teddy. And Teddy's going to sit right on my lap. I'm going to have Teddy facing me so I can make eye contact. I'm going to hold Teddy's hands. And we're going to start with, did you ever see a baby? And for this one, we're going to do some back and forth. Okay, we ready? Here we go. Did you ever see a baby? A baby, a baby. Did you ever see a baby? Go this way and that. Go this way and that way and this way and that way. Did you ever see a baby? Go this way and that. Let's try it one more time. You ready? Here we go. <gasps> Did you ever see a baby? A baby? A baby? Did you ever see a baby? Go this way and that. Go this way and that way and this way and that way. Did you ever see a baby? Go this way and that. Excellent. Okay. And now this is called hip hip hippity hop and this is going to be a lot of bouncing up and down okay you ready here we go hip hip hippity hop hippity hippity hop and we'll hop around the room today until it's time to stop and this actually is a good one to actually jump up and hop around too so you know what why don't you just jump up and grab those babies and we're gonna do some hip hip hippity hop here we go hip hip hippity hop Hippity, hippity, hop. We'll hop around the room today until it's time to stop. Good job. All right. And now I am going to, um, we're going to do something different. I would like you to take those babies and see if you can get the palms of their hands. All right. And this is a little tickle rhyme. And this is how it goes. Round and round the garden goes the little mouse. Upstairs, downstairs to its little house. And then you tickle that baby. All right, let's do that one more time. Get that baby's palm. Round and round the garden goes the little mouse. Upstairs, downstairs to its little house. Tickle, 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 tickle. Good job. All right, and now I'm going to invite everyone to get their shaker eggs. This is my shaker egg. It's a nice pink one. If you need to put me on pause, please feel free to pause me and search around for something that shakes. It could be a rattle. It could be a maraca. It could be an egg if you have an egg. It could be anything that makes noise. It could be rice in a water bottle or rice in a can or rice in a Tupperware, whatever you got. And again, in the show notes, I'm going to have directions on how you can make your own shaker egg. And we're going to start with a little warm-up. So you have your shaker egg. Here we go. This is how my first little warm-up goes. One. Two, shake it on your shoe. Three, four, shake it on the floor. Five, six, 
stand and mix. Seven, eight, shake it straight. Nine, ten, wave to your friends. Okay, one more time. You ready? One, two, shake it on your shoe. Three, four, shake it on the floor. Five, six, stand and mix. Seven, eight, shake it straight. Nine, ten, wave to your friends. Good job. All right, now we're going to go to Kentucky. I love the Shaker song so much. It's my favorite. Here we go. We're going to Kentucky. We're going to the fair to see a senorita with flowers in her hair. Shake it, shake it, baby. Shake it if you can. Shake it like a milkshake and pour it in a can. Shake it to the bottom. Shake it to the top. Shake it round and round again until I holler, stop. We're going to the fence on Park Zoo. We're going to the zoo to look at all the animals and see what they can do. Oh, shake it, shake it, baby. Shake it if you can. Shake it like a milkshake and pour it in a can. Shake it to the bottom. Shake it to the top. Shake it round and round again until I holler. Stop. Good job. All right. And now, this is like if you're happy and you know it. Here we go. If you're happy and you know it, give it a shake. If you're happy and you know it, give it a shake. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, give it a shake. If you're happy and you know it, give it a clap. If you're happy and you know it, give it a clap. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, give it a clap. If you're happy and you know it, give it a tap on the floor. If you're happy and you know it, give it a tap on the floor. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, give it a tap. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Yeah! Good job! Woo! All right, now it's time to sing our ABCs. Get those shakers. We're going to shake it out. Here we go! A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Very good. And now, I hate to tell you, but it is time to say. Goodbye. So let's get our waving hands and we're going to sing goodbye, friends. You can tilt your shaker eggs too. Here we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye one more time. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bum, bum, bum. All right, goodbye, friends. And I will see you next week. Thank you for joining me and have a great day. Bye.